Hello, my name is Jorge Casillas from the University of Granada, Spain. I'm going to show you today how to use this data analytics platform called NINE to compare the performance of different classification algorithms. Here we have the flow, the flow work we will use. We start by reading data then we have a table like this one with the different attributes and we have a column with which is called class where we have the label tagged for each the each row so in this problem we have two possible classes maligna and benign it is about diagnosis of a tumor for breast cancer. Okay, so let's use different algorithms and see how to compare them. For example, we can use knife bias as here. As you know, in nine we use we can use five uh, fold cross validation by configuring this node like a number of validation is five stratified sampling class column we use the column with the class and very important to fix a random seat any number is possible but must be exactly the same for all the, the algorithms so this is a classical uh, five cross uh, five cross validation experiment we have the learner we learn the model and then we use the model to predict from the test data and then we aggregate the result okay so the output here is the data with two new columns this column is the prediction of the class so it's the result of the algorithm if it is different from the real class then will be a error for example here we see it's different so there is an error here and this column the fall number represent which of the five iterations in our case is well become uh, becoming this uh, row so here we have for the first first run second run third run and fourth and fifth Okay, to compare the result of these three algorithms, what we are expecting to obtain is something like that. We have a table with the names of the algorithms and different measures for performance and even, even for complexity, like here, model sites. So let's gonna see how to obtain these uh, values. Okay. Everything is done here, precision measures. Precision measures receive a variable flow with the name of the label, class label, that we consider as positive. Here, we consider that malignant is the positive class. If we change our data set, we just need to change this value in this node, string configuration. String configuration con is coming from nine quick form extension, so you need to install it. Then the second input is the names of the algorithms we are using. Here we are using C4.5, C.4.5 uh, with Prony and NightBice. So we have created this table which column is the name is name and then we have the names of the three algorithms exactly in the same order that we are using here and then we have one input per algorithm so here we have three algorithms so we get uh, we link the this port with the table and the prediction of each 
algorithm. In case we are not using the four available inputs, then we can use this auxiliary table to fill these inputs. This table is just a column with class and the other one with prediction class. These names need to be exactly the same than we get here. Class and prediction class. So the table creator create this table and we fix here one zero any value that is not ex the same can be possible. And better if it doesn't coincide with the name of the class. So at the end, this row will not be added to the table. Okay. So if we are using three algorithms, the fourth one, we get this, we input like this. And then we obtain this table. For example, if we are using only two algorithms, we will link this table creator also to the last by one input and then we have only this and these inputs and then the result is like this as you can see the last row is not being included but still we are seeing this row we are seeing this row because of the table creator here the table with the name of the variables if we remove this variable sorry this uh, algorithm name now we have the table only with the two algorithms that we are using right now that's the idea so let's gonna link again the third algorithm and let's gonna introduce again the name of these algorithms algorithm Well, let's gonna see how can we obtain this result. Everything is here in precision measures. Precision measures receive, as we, we mentioned it before, the result of all the four algorithms and also the name of the flow. Do you remember this one? Here, malignant. So we are saying that malignant is the positive class to these uh, meta nodes and these meta nodes are all exactly the same like this one we use scorer to obtain statistics about the through positive and false positive through negative and false negative of the different classes and other measures based on these values like recall precision sensitivity specificity F measure accuracy or Cohen kappa Cohen's kappa. This two last one is a overall measure. This is why we have here a row named overall. The other measures depend on which class label are we considering as the positive one. In our case we are interested in considering malignant as possible as positive one. So let's gonna choose this row malignant row and we will remove these two columns so with row filter it receives a flow variable with the name of the positive class to link this you know we have to do right click and show flow variable ports then we can link this uh, a red circle and to configure it for setting what we do is in regression expression regular expressions or row filter we use string input which is the variable we are sending here string input we can change the name if we want and here we have to set include rows by row id so what we are doing is to choose the row that has the row ID with the name of the positive class, malignant. And then what we get is this, a table only with a row, 
Now we remove these columns and then we have this row or a table only with a row for each of the four input algorithms. Then we concatenate the, the four results and we append as an additional column the name of the algorithms that is coming from this table through this uh, the first data port, the second input. Then what we have is here, this is this. We have this new column with the name and the other with the result of each one of the algorithm. Next step is to change the row ID with the name of the algorithms here. And it is done by choosing replace row ID with the name of and then remove the selected column. And finally, we are going to add some new measures and rename the columns. Firstly, we rename the columns to obtain something like that. So what we do is change, for example, sensitivity is three posit uh, through positive rate, specificity is through negative rate, F measure can be called as F1 score, through positive is GP, FP, F FTN, FN. Precision is a positive predictive value. It is optional, but I like to do that. Then we are going to compute the accuracy. Accuracy is just the true positive plus true negative divided by the total number of examples, which is the sum of true and false, positive and negative. So we append a column with this name. And also we are going to add G mean. G mean is the geometric mean of through positive rate and through negative rate. So the, it is the root, square root of the product of these two variables. Don't confuse with G measure. G measure will be with PPV, PPV and through positive rate. In this case, it's through positive rate and through negative rate. We can add additional measures if we want. We can also resorter to for a better or order if we want, and then we have this result. We uh, change the name, and we have here G mean and accuracy. These two columns has been added with the math formula. Math formula is becoming with nine math expression extensions. So you need to install this. Okay. So we are just finishing. We have the table and this is the output. So now we have a table with the comparison of different algorithms. Okay, we are going to stop here and in other video I will show you how to extract the complexity of the models. In this case, if we are using three decision trees, we will get the number of leaves and then we attach this value to the table to obtain this new column with the model size. But as I said, I will explain it in, a, in another video. Okay, I hope you enjoy and you see this is useful for your work or interesting in data science. See ya!